This video is about Ludwig van Beethoven's String Quartet No. 16. I will explain the most important things about the work and the composer. Ludwig van Beethoven was a German composer who lived from 1770 to 1827. The String Quartet No. 16 in F Major, Op. 135, is the last complete string quartet that Beethoven composed. It was written in 1826, a year before his death. This work shows Beethoven's deep musical experience and his ability to compose, despite his deafness. The quartet is known for its clarity and simplicity compared to his other late quartets. The string quartet No. 16 consists of four movements. The first movement, Allegretto, is light and melodious. The second movement, Vivace, is fast and lively. The third movement, Lento Assai, Cantante e Tranquillo, is very slow and lyrical, almost like a quiet song. The fourth movement, Grave ma non troppo trato allegro, begins solemnly and then changes to a faster, more cheerful part. This combination of movements shows the versatility of Beethoven's music. The last movement of the string quartet No. 16 is particularly interesting. It contains the famous words, Mus es sein? Es mus sein. Must it be? It must be, that Beethoven wrote in the score. These words raise questions about fate and necessity. The movement begins slowly and thoughtfully, but quickly becomes lively and optimistic. This change could reflect Beethoven's acceptance of fate and challenges in his life. The string quartet No. 16 is technically demanding for the musicians. Each movement has its own challenges, from fast runs in the second movement to the soulful melodies in the third movement. The musicians must work together very well to maintain the balance and dynamics of the music. The last movement in particular requires precise coordination between the players to show the contrast between the slow and fast sections. Beethoven's String Quartet No. 16 influenced many other composers after him. The quartet shows a clear structure and a combination of traditional and innovative elements. Composers such as Brahms and Schubert saw Beethoven's late quartets, including this one, as an inspiration for their own works. The way Beethoven experimented with musical forms opened new avenues for the development of chamber music. After Beethoven's death, the string quartet No. 16 quickly became appreciated by music critics and audiences. It was considered a masterpiece of chamber music, showing both technical brilliance and deep emotions. Today, the quartet is often played in concert halls and is an important part of the string quartet repertoire. It is praised for its clarity and emotional depth. In this quartet, Beethoven uses a clear and direct musical language. The themes are often simple, but they develop in a complex way. Beethoven plays with harmonies and rhythms to create different moods and feelings. This string quartet shows that even simple melodies can express profound emotions if they are well developed and presented. The String Quartet No. 16 is a culmination of Beethoven's work as a composer of string quartets. It shows many of the themes and techniques that he explored throughout his life. Despite his deafness, Beethoven was able to create music of great beauty and clarity. This quartet is a testament to his tireless creativity and his will to continue creating art under difficult circumstances. Beethoven's String Quartet No. 16 remains influential and popular with musicians and listeners. It addresses universal themes such as joy, pain, fate, and hope. The music is accessible and can be enjoyed by people of all ages and backgrounds. This quartet is an example of how classical music can retain meaning and relevance over time by addressing fundamental human experiences and emotions.